a great lineup of Broadway stars are here in Los Angeles to take the stage in Tony nominated director Michael Arden's production of Merrily We Roll Along. We're here at the Wallace Annenberg Center for the Performing Arts to find out more. Is this a show you knew? Did you are you a fan of this show? It seems like a lot of people maybe are coming to this new in this kind. I'm coming very new to the show. I didn't know the music. I did know some of the melodies because I've heard the songs performed at various just like random events. But um, yeah, I'm so happy to dive into it. I don't know how I didn't know this show. I mean, I knew songs from the show, but I was so sort of like, oh my God, how do I not know this Sondheim show? He writes women so well. And I get to play someone 20 year span, which is incredible. And go backwards in time, which you'll never, I don't, I don't know any other show that does this. It's about these three friends and you sort of follow their lives, but then you do it backwards. Right, it's a great non-linear uh, journey, and what I think is is interesting, knowing that the first time around it wasn't a hit. I just don't think the audiences, especially at that time when it came out, that they just weren't used to storytelling in that way. And theater, especially at that point, it's very traditional. Oh, I want to go to theater. I want to see Oklahoma. I, I want my story like this. I want to end like that. I want the intermission to be like this. From second one, you have like high drama, and the audience be super engaged. Like, who are these people? What's happening? And by the end of the play, you see these kids and you see these kids with these dreams, and ooh, it's just really powerful. Most uh, television, which is sort of the biggest popular art form right now, is all out of time, and flashbacks are used, and so I think, in a way, they, they were writing way ahead of their time. And Michael Arden is sort of our, our new, innovative, you know, Tony-nominated director. Talk a little bit about his vision a little bit for this. I think it's a way of seeing um, art inform life, literally. It's been fun digging into it. It's weird though because Michael has sort of, from the beginning he's like, I don't want to give away too much. That was one of the first things he said to us and for the first like week and a half kept saying, I don't want to give away too much. And I was like, hi, I'm an actor in this show. Could you please give away everything? Michael's production is more than just the story. It's actually a little meta in the sense of we're actors on a stage and you know, Shakespeare says, uh, you know, all the world's a stage. Just keep that in mind when you see our show. It's very theatrical. Uh, I see a lot of dressing tables, mirrors. I see a lot of exposed lights. Uh, so what, what's happening here? Well, I wanted to use um, theater as a metaphor for life. And I wanted to set this story as a sort of flashback in, in the mind of Franklin Shepard. He's being, for whatever reason, forced to take a look at various moments in his life that were significant. And I thought, well, what better sort of construct to put that in for Frank Shepard than a theater? The show is about the decisions that you make in your life and how they take you on new roads and how merrily you roll along to know, you know where you go. But life happens, man, right? You get a real sort of inside window as to like how the sausage is made you know like you get to see like how we do it how we make it and you get to kind of see like every actor's process a little bit which is kind of cool because we all have these dressing stations and so you get to kind of see everybody get ready and get ready to step into their moment and it's a really cool window that he's provided into like theater and the music I mean you get you get some great music to sing it's incredible it's challenging exciting and it's so smart he's so smart Sondheim is so smart when I first heard it, I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna learn all these lyrics? But now that I know the lyrics, it just like, it moves right along. Like it merrily, it just rolls right along. You know, it's lyrics and they match everything and it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm.